Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to the Bella podcast. Yes, a new episode, new guest in the studio and Leo Nikona. She's a female actually and uh a journey new as zingine eh. Nangalia nga tu hivi. I'm like, okay. So few of my episodes quizi na na let her women eh, to inspire other women out there. So she's a student and also an entrepreneur. Tutaambia anafanya ngani in terms of the business part. So karibu sana Vivian. Asante sana. Mimi leo ninanisumbua leo. Mambo lazima. Tell us your name, what do you do? You are you are also a student. Tuambie yeah. Asama ya nini? So basically my name is Vivian Mwende. Mm-hmm. Sio Kayani, mimi mm. ni Mkamba. <laughs> mimi ni Mkamba. Yes from Makweni. Mm-hmm. Um I'm a student at Mount Kenya University. Mm. I am taking journalism and mass communication okay. at once. Unajua kuna journalism na kuna mm. mass communication, mass communication. Na kuna yeah. So I'm doing them both at once. Mm-hmm. I'm also in business. Uh, my business. <laughs> yeah, oh, I am a business. I am an entrepreneur. Eh, manzel. Eh, business lazima. Mm. So I I deal with Kenya G eggs. Uh, nafanya biashara my kinyaji pale marikiti mm-hmm. i know wale mtangalia i'm not i'm not <laughs> a new face going in this easy so aside from selling my kinyaji hapo marikiti that's really that's the depot mm-hmm. but i also supply kinyaji eggs in naivas mm-hmm. mombasa and nairobi but right now kiasi nairobi i've taken a break kwa sababu mm-hmm. you know sometimes it narifika nga zile seasons where yeah. the supply is less but mm-hmm. the demand is high yeah. so tuso tuko kwa hiyo duration ya where the supply is re- less but the mm-hmm. demand is high but, high. Yeah, but kidogo tu tunangoja market hit mm-hmm. vizuri turudi kabisa akiongea yeah. kama mtu mwenye kaka biashara sana <laughs> but tell me how do you manage to handle uh, the school life and also the business part um i will tell you for a fact that kwa watu wengine itakani ngumu mm. but You know if you have the zeal to do something yeah. you definitely go for it mm-hmm. and yes so it's let's just say i'm juggling in between mm-hmm. and plus my timetable is actually very flexible mm-hmm. for me to work at the same time study yeah so i can say for me it hasn't been that hard mm-hmm. it's actually been simple Nice. Mm-hmm. so <laughs> umesema you deal with kenyaji eggs yes. do you have a farm of it ama ni plus unachukua then you come and resell it again oh okay sawa so, sawa so, um you see when you're dealing with kenyaji eggs mm. um haziko in extra large production mm-hmm. as compared to hii mayai nyingine mnaitanga mayai ya dawa <laughs> ama <laughs> broiler, broiler. Yeah. Yeah. so utapata like supply hiyo mm-hmm. yake huwezi tegemea shamba yako peke yake yes we do have a farm mm-hmm. in makuini But that but then again you cannot depend on your own you have to have considering sasa sisi yeah. tuko it's actually a la, it's actually like a company right now mm-hmm. considering the biggest customers in Naivas mm-hmm. so we need extra people mm-hmm. kwa to production in Kenya low yeah. need others okay. so aside from us de, depending on our farm mm-hmm. we also have extra suppliers who supply us with eggs uh-huh. at a convenient price mm-hmm. yeah Nice. So have you always been an entrepreneur? Yes. <laughs> Let me tell you. Funny uh-huh. thing is that um you see growing up mm-hmm. I had this business mentality like nile kwa wale you know I used to admire my mom and then the fact that I would admire the struggles because yeah. by the time I kuja kupata hizi tenders za kuingia ku supply supermarkets mm-hmm. it was actually a hustle. Alikuwa anatoka Nairobi mm-hmm. anaenda Nairobi anarudi mtu amechoka tunabidi tumchemshie maji tumkande miguu mm-hmm. ama unapata kiatu imerudi ime Nisha. and then then life was just literally not good mm-hmm. kwa sababu to, you have to convince people of your product yeah. why why you mm-hmm. why do we need mm-hmm. you to take so uh, she got the tender first tender ilikuwa 2015 mm-hmm. now i started admiring the business like if i want to do But she's like focus on studies focus yeah. on studies <laughs> but let me tell you immediately i finished form 4 like till mm. november 
Jan nilikuwa ukaanza kaanza wera tu kaanza ku hustle hapo na hapo si ku waste time because i have had that independent mentality like mm. i always like to see myself like nime toa doni menuno akitu ama yeah. we we'll go to restaurants and then you'll see your mom akitu pesa but the same in your mind you're mm. like guy i wish ni mimi ningekuwa nimelipa <laughs> like you know there's that pride in yeah. the, in paying for your own mm-hmm. bills and stuff yeah so how did you get enough money okay you just said it's part of a uh, family business for yeah. so me at first i thought maybe ni biashara yako yenye umeanza yeah so okay right now i mean uh, right now it's me and my mom mm. that we are actually doing the business right mm-hmm. now yeah so most of the time we like i'm the one who's there okay you know kuna kwa yule nikwambia je si oh akuangia kwa dol so yeye uko tu mahali wewe muambie tu venye inaendelea atakuja kuangalia so from planning the supplies mm-hmm. to supplies coming in to cash making sure the account, cash is in account yeah. to make sure this supply is paid and that is paid mm-hmm. bus fare is paid and all that it's just me oh yeah nice so what are the secrets to your success do you so far when you mail is it which is that it's like you're just going to a, a point in your eh? eh you're just a successful <laughs> woman okay we we share us go see challenges mm-hmm. um there are times where uh season ina kuja kwa too low mm-hmm. and you know is it fuzzy and visory yeah. but what i can say is that nikwambiaje <laughs> passion passion you know once you have that passion to do something like it yani you overlook every um nikwambiaje every problem that there is yeah. so like yes i know there's a problem mm-hmm. but you will not dwell on the problem you will immediately divert to dwelling on the solutions yes mm-hmm. i know there's a problem it's mm-hmm. not like i don't know there's a problem but i'll have to find solutions faster mm-hmm. yeah Aye. so like Yeah, passion mimi naweza sema tu ni passion na passion. zili. Passion na zili. Power. Ya kufanya kitu yenye una unapenda. So what do you want to achieve next? Uh right now um social media is actually <laughs> the best right now in terms of marketing mm. business ni nini. So kidogo ni I had uh, opened an Instagram page for the for the business not long ago. Mm-hmm. So right now I, we want to venture into social media to we take our business out there. Uh my goal actually it's just not kufikia naiva so alone mm-hmm. but other opening for maximum yeah. seven year like i admire a senior on how mm-hmm. like any shop yenye wana inafunguliwa they wako, are there wako wako i didn't really like, quite use naiva and i was like a senior ndo hiyo yeah a senior they are there they are there and and so far uh, surprisingly mm-hmm. um <laughs> i came to realize that like, in mombasa mm-hmm. Uh, Ashiro my company like Ashiro Enterprises was the first ever company mm-hmm. to introduce kenyeji eggs in supermarkets and that's us nice. and then afterwards others followed mm-hmm. but you know legacy is <laughs> legacy you know <laughs> it cannot ayezi <laughs> kwa shake so you find like ah we'll find competition is very yeah. good so whenever we we see others have come mm-hmm. in market we make sure we tuna tunajikaza kwa sababu you know they might take over you, yeah, you, true, you cannot allow yourself mm-hmm. but competition is actually very good it actually makes you strong unajua <laughs> wengine hawapendi competition mm. they are like ah huyu amekuja kuharibu ni nini mm. someone gives up no 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 actually competition is actually ukiona okay, amekuja na yeye una pull up eh una pull up your socks kama uliko umeanza kulala lala unaamka so you're looking more into partnering with different supermarkets yeah I wanted to ask you where do you see your business in the next five years to come? Wow, that's actually a good question. <laughs> <laughs> I see my business uh mm. something worth to talk about. Okay. That's that's the simplest way I can mm-hmm. put it. We've had this in a lot. We need something else. <laughs> we we need a visa, a visa. I'm I'm not a senior senior but the fact that i'm checking is is that i admire the mm-hmm. zeal these people have yeah. so where i see my business in the next like five years is just mm-hmm. like something to be, when you talk about kenya g eggs mm-hmm. you see my you see ashiro enterprises ashiro enterprises oh, kenya g eggs mm-hmm. ashiro ashiro mm-hmm. and i'm uh, and i'm thankful to god because i i i feel proud whenever yeah. uh, i i sell eggs pale uh, aside from supply na usa na new retail wholesale mm-hmm. so i usually feel proud nikipata clients wananipatia feedback oh 
oh, I saw your ads in the supermarket, so you are the one who texted them there. Oh, hey. so, but, uh, I was referred to you by this and this and this. Mm-hmm. So that's how my business has grown. That's why I can say, like, even I thank God during the whole yeah. COVID-19 mm-hmm. um, period, we were actually thriving. Like, I have, I can say that, <laughs> yeah, the, the sales I made, mm. any good. So now you are telling me COVID, do you want to, I'll kind of, and I realize, oh, we have to eat healthy. We have oh, to eat healthy. healthy. Mm. And people shopped during that time. I mean, anyway. Yeah. There are people who really benefited and I can say Ashiro Enterprises is mm-hmm. one of them. Nice. Yeah. So, okay, Angalia, say you are into business and you're still in school, Cindy? Yes. So how do you deal with that? You being in school, you're still doing your business. Yeah, okay, I'm, I love I love what I do. Mm-hmm. I love media. I have a passion for <laughs> media. Let me tell you. Mm. You know, even when in school, I okay, in school I used to be... Um, Back in the days, I used to be a deputy school captain mm-hmm. in uh, St. Albertina Girls and Makwene. So, yeah, like, you know, those, you give regular speeches, doing assemblies, mm-hmm. and then you hear somebody, I remember one day from one called me, mm-hmm. and he's like, hi, Vivian. I was like, hi. I was like, you know, I feel like you can be a journalist. I was like, <laughs> pardon. That's how you are, Akila, you are a doctor, but... It is but I, it is. I knew it was within me. Like I tried to suppress it. Mm. At a time, Lady Maliza from four, uh, that there are people are talking to me about media. I'm like, 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 Guys, record me. So no longer I'm trying to find out to jingle to you. And then record, record. I'm like, need to make an ease of video. Just see, make it on a high quality. Yeah. Then after that, I just picture something I can mm. do with that video, and then I generate it into something. Nice. Yeah. So but you I, still, I, you still I, want to I, be I'm, a journalist? Ah, definitely. De- ah, come oh. on. That's <laughs> that's 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 something mm. I can never stop doing. I, I love cameras. Miss mm-hmm. Kayo, <laughs> directors out there, to come up to our potential of to offer to employ. So that has been it, Vivian. Thank you yes. for coming. Uh, one last uh, thing you can share out there: yeah. you, you being a student, you having a business. I know kuna students out there, kuna wenye ni students, kuna wenye ondo ame Maliza, and they really don't know what to do. You say kupat kupat a job. Yeah. It's very, 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 very hard. So, what advice can you tell them? Okay, basically what I can tell them is that being a student should not stop you mm-hmm. from doing what you want. Uh, okay, I have had cases where parents are insisting on Maliza Masomo Kwanza, alafu ndu wendo fanya kazi. That's actually putting uh, yoni mentality mbaya unaika kwa mtoto. Mm-hmm. Kwa sabi, let me tell you, someone wants to explore something. Una mkazi ya uyu mtoto, this kid cannot do anything further than like kusoma. Yeah. And then you like this person cannot even uh, know how to vent for themselves. Mm-hmm. So, we kwa kili yako unamwekia the idea, oh, nitamaliza shule, then I'll get work. Yeah. If you have her, uh, if you're thinking of doing something right now or a hassle, mm-hmm. go for it. I will tell you, work with person. Mm-hmm. And also put, as a student, hata ukiendelea kufanya, ukiendelea kusoma, it doesn't mean that, yo, just because I'm studying this, I'll, ha- I'll end up in that nani, mm. that sector. No. You can actually go up, end up in something totally different. By the time una maliza kama kuteme career ya IT, mm. you're in totally different things. Maybe you are in fashion, you are in business. Mm. And that's how people grow. That's how people grow. So go for it. I mean, let nothing stop you. Mm. And then mentality ya shule si kufunge sana. Grow yourself. Do research on what you can do. Because, mm-hmm. I mean, you have potential. <laughs> Umekalia potential. Kanini? <laughs> <laughs> okay, guys, so yeah. Miss Kia, if you're a student out there, that means you're in campus. You say we were to in your high school. So the, the guys who in your co campus, yeah. I, you you still have to do something at least. Yeah. Usmalize campus yako. Ukiwata una job yote. You're there waiting for your results. Then after Apple, you get employed. So you Imagine. can. You can do a side hustle business. Yeah. Now, when I was in campus, I was like, 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 to be yeah. able eh, yeah. to open your own business. So, that has been it, guys. I've been your host, Vela Munga at King TV. And the show is Developed Podcast, eh? Women Empowerment. 
inspirational talks ah bana unafaa kuje tena tutakupatia space yako mwenyewe you speak to the people out there i am so open to that by the way um tuko na packages usijali oh ni sawa eh tuko na packages na sasa mimi hata don't go as anifikia tuko social media handle zangu sio bure by the sio bure peace Out.